Senator Janice Allen wants a portion of tourism revenue to go towards reducing crime. Here are the details. It is so sad to see the level of crimes in Jamaica. There is no short term quick fix to solving crime. The government is going for a quick fix, which is state of emergency. Ridiculous. And that only fix the crime for a week or a weekend. When people down on the low. The situation with crime in Jamaica is that it is at a pandemic level. This is unfortunate and it is sad to see. There must be significant resources given to the security forces. The cops should also be paid well. You can't send the people them out there to go risk them lives and pittances. And unless this is done, it could lead to cor more corruption among the police officers. So now, Senator Janice Allen, who is a member of the opposition, has encouraged tourism minister Edmund Bartlett to use some of the industry's money to solve Jamaica's crime problems and make the country safer and friendlier for both people and tourists. They should use some of this money and provide resources for the police force and pay the cops well so they will be motivated to fight crimes and not getting corrupt. At a PNP convention for the Granville Division on Sunday night at Granville Primary and Infant School in St. James, Allen made the call to party members and supporters. She complimented the JCF swift response to the armed robbery that occurred at the FDR resort in Runaway Bay St. Anne last week. But she also emphasized the urgent need for the billions of dollars the sector has made to spend in a Jamaica to enhance the tourism industry. It is not about collecting awards. It is about reinvesting because when you have your own business and you earn money, you reinvest to make it better, Alin claimed. And at the same time, accusing the tourism minister of taking weekly trips around the world. She gone, gone take trips around the world to promote Jamaica and tourism. And yet still when them come on the island, she can't protect them. The, she further went on to say, I am urging the minister to spend some of the billions that have been made by tourism to keep the industry safe so that workers in the industry do not once again have to stand up to GUNMEN, but that they will be protected because of the minister's reinvestment in the industry. Last Friday at around three in the morning, Armed guys broke into the hotel's office and took the night manager hostage. The St. Anne Police Division detectives and the counter tourism currently doing a thorough investigation into the incident. If the Jamaican government do not invest more in security, they will eventually see the negative change in the tourism industry. Remember, tourism is our main business in Jamaica. So this is an industry that they should seek to protect. She taking trips around the world. How is it going to, to help? Having state of emergency every week. Is it helping? State of emergency is not working. It is no longer working. And the soldiers are burnt out. People get used to the soldiers them now that they don't even have any respect for them anymore. So they need to reinvest some of the tourism money into the island.
guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment down below